Hey, this is Chris Rossi um, with Chasing Dreams, here to improve the world, here to um, make the world a better place, giving hope, loving all, helping to make that difference. This is going to be another video on the Bible, um, Genesis 20, 21, and 22. And Abraham journeyed from thence toward the south country, and dwelled between Kadesh and Shur, and sojourned in Gerar. And Abraham said of Sarah's wife, she is my sister. And Abimelech, king of Gerar, sent and took Sarah. But God came to Abimelech in a dream by night, and said to him, Behold, thou art but a dead man for the woman which thou hast taken, for she is a man's wife. But Abimelech had not come near her, and he said, Lord, wilt thou slay also a righteous nation? Said he not unto me, She is my sister, and she and she even herself said, He is my brother in the integrity of my heart, and in the innocency of my hands have I done this. And God said unto him in a dream, Yes, yeah, I know that thou hast did this in the integrity of the heart, thy heart, for I also withheld thee from sinning against me. Therefore suffered I thee not to touch her. Now therefore restore the man his wife, for he is a prophet, and he shall pay, pray for thee, and thou shalt live. And if thou restore her not, know thou that thou shalt surely, surely die, and all that are thine. Therefore Abimelech rose early in the morning, and called all his servants, and told all these things in the, their heirs, and the men were so, so afraid. Then Abimelech called Abraham, and said unto him, What hast thou done unto us? And what have I offended thee, that thou hast brought on me, and on my kingdom a great sin? Thou hast done deeds unto me that are not to be done. And Abimelech said unto Abraham, What sawest thou? that thou hast done this thing. And Abraham said, Because thou surely th because thought Abraham said, Because I thought surely the fear of God is not in this place, and they will sl slay me for my wife's sake. And yet indeed she is um yet indeed she is my sister. Um she is my she is the daughter of my father but not the daughter of my mother, and she became my wife. And it came to pass, when God caused me to wonder from my father's house, that I said unto her, This is the kindness which thou shalt show unto me, and every place with whither we shall come say of me, he is my brother. And Abimelech took sheep and oxen, and men servants and women servants, and gave them unto Abraham, and restored him Sarah's wife. And Abimelech said, Behold, my land is before thee, dwell before thee. Dwell where it pleaseth thee. And, and unto Sarah he said, Behold, I have given thy brother a thousand pieces of silver. Behold, he, he is to thee a covering of the eyes unto all that are with thee and with all other. Thus she was, was reproved. And so, so Abraham prayed unto God, and God healed Abimelech and his wife, and his maid ser maidservants, and they bare children. For the Lord had fa fast closed up all the wounds of the house of Abimelech because of Sarah Abraham's wife. And the Lord visited Sarah as he had said, and the Lord did unto Sarah as he had spoken. For Sarah conceived and bare Abraham, a son in his old age, at the set time of which God had spoken to him. And Abraham called the name of the son that was born unto him, whom Sarah bare to him, Isaac. And Abraham circumcised his son, Isaac, being eight days old, as God had commanded him. And Abraham was an hundred years old when his son Isaac was born unto him. And Sarah said, God hath made me to laugh, so that all they that hear will laugh with me. And she said, Who would have said unto Abraham that Sarah should have given to Isaac, for I have borne him a son in his old age? And the child grew and was weaned, and Abraham made a great feast the same day that Isaac was weaned. And Sarah saw the son of Hagar the Egyptian, which she had borne unto Abraham, mocking. Wherefore she said unto Abraham, Cast out his this bond woman and her son, for the son of this bond woman shall not be there be here with my son, even with Isaac. And the thing was was very grievous in Abraham's sight because of his son. And God said unto Abraham, Let it not be gr grievous in the sight because of the lad, and because of thy bond woman, and all that Sarah hath said unto thee. Hearken unto her voice, for in Isaac shall thee see, thy seed be called, and also of the son of the bond woman will I make a nation, because he is the seed. And Abraham rose up early in the morning, and took bread and a bottle of water, and gave it unto Hagar. 
putting it on her shoulder and the child, and sent her away. And she departed, and sent her oh, um. And what I mean, sent her away, and she departed, and wandered in the wilderness of Beersheba. And the water was spent in the bot bottle, and she cast the child under one of the shrubs. And she set, she went and sat her down, sat her down over against him a good way off, as it were, about bow shoot shot. And she went and sat her down over against him a good way off, as it were, a um, bow shot. For she said, "Let me not see the death of the child." And she sat over against him in the in the top of her voice and wept. And God heard the voice of the lad, and the angel of the of God called to Hagar out of heaven and said unto her, "What aileth thee, Hagar? Fear, fear not, for God hath heard the voice of the lad where he is." Rise to the lad, and hold him in thine hand, for I will make him a great nation. And God opened her eyes, and she saw a well of water, and she went and filled the bottle with water, and gave the lad drink. And God was with the lad, and he grew and dwelt in the wilderness, and became an archer. And he dwelt in the wilderness of Paran, and his mother took him a, a wife, and out of the out of the land, um, and and his mother took him a wife out of the land of Egypt. And it came to pass at that time that Abimelech and Fickle, the chief captain of his host, spake unto Abraham, saying, God is with thee in all that thou doest. Now therefore swear unto me, hereby God, that thou wilt not deal falsely with me, or nor with my son, nor with my son's son, but according to the kindness that I have done unto thee, thou shalt do unto me and to the land wherein thou hast sojourned. And Abraham said, I will swear. And Abraham reproved Abimelech because of a well of water, which Abimelech were servant had violently taken away. And Abimelech said, I wot not who had thou had thou done this thing, neither didst thou tell me, neither yet heard I of it, but to day. And Abraham took sheep and oxen and gave them unto Abimelech, and both of them made a covenant. And Abraham set seven u lambs of the flock by themselves. And Abimelech said unto Abraham, What mean these seven u lambs which thou hast set by themselves? And he said, For these seven e lambs thou shalt thou take of my hand, that thou, that they may be a witness unto me that I have digged this well. Wherefore he called that place Beersheba, because there were there they were. Wherefore he called that place Beersheba, because there they swear both of them. <sighs> does they um does they made a covenant of Beersheba, then Abimelech rose up and fig figgle the chief captain of his host, and they returned into the land of the Philistines. And Abraham planted a uh, grove in Beersheba and called there on the name of the Lord, the everlasting God. And Abraham sojourned in the Philistines land many days. And it came to pass after these things that God did tempt Abraham, and said unto Abraham, and he said, Behold, here I am. And he said, Take now thy son, thine only son Isaac, whom thou lovest, and get thee into land of Moriah, and offer him there for a burnt offering upon one of the mountains, which I will tell thee of. And Abraham rose up early in the morning, and settled Settled his ass and took two of his young men with him, and Isaac his son, and clave the wood for the burnt offering, and rose up, and went unto the place of which God had told him. Then on the third day Abraham lifted up his eyes and saw the place of the far off. And Abraham said unto his young men, Abide ye here with the ass, and I and the lad will go yonder and worship, and come again unto, again to you. And Abraham, and I worship and come again to you. And Abraham took the Abraham. Well, I'm going to read that. Again. Um, and Abraham took said unto his son, "When about a year and this, and I'm in the lad will go yonder and worship and come again to you." And Abraham took the wood of the burnt offering and laid and laid it upon Isaac his son. And he took the fire in his hand and a knife, and they went both of them together. And Isaac spake unto Abraham his father and said, "My father." And he said. Here am I, my son. And he said, Behold, the fire and the wood, but where is the lamb for a burnt offering? And Abraham said, My son, God, will provide himself a lamb for a burnt offering. So they went, both of them, together. And they came to pass that which God had told them of. And Abraham built an altar there, and 
and laid the wood in, in order, and bound Isaac his son, and laid him on the altar upon the wood. And Abraham stretched forth his hand, and took the knife to slay his son. And the angel of the Lord called unto him out of heaven, and said, Abraham, Abraham. And he said, Here am I. And he said, Lay not thine hand upon the lad, neither do thou anything unto him. For now I know that thou fearest God, seeing thou hast not withhold, withheld thy son, thine only son, from me. And Abraham lifted up his eyes, and looked, and behold, and behold him, behold behind him a ram caught in a thicket by his horns. Caught in a thicket by his horns. And Abraham went and took his took the ram and offered him up for a burnt offering in the in the stead of his son. And Abraham called the name of that place Jehovah Jireh, as it is said in this day, in the mount of the Lord, it shall be seen. And the angel of the Lord called unto Abraham out of the he out of heaven the second time, and said be by myself and said, By myself have I sworn, and said the Lord, for because thou hast done th this thing, and hast not withheld thy son, thine only son, that in blessing I will bless thee, and in multiplying I will multiply thy, thy seed, as the stars of heaven, and as thy sand, sand which is upon the, the seashore. And thy seed shall possess the gate of his enemies, and in thy seed shall all the nations of the earth be blessed, because thou hast obeyed my voice. So Abraham returned unto his young men, and they rose up and went together to Beersheba, and Abraham dwelt at Beersheba. And it came to pass after the, these things that it was told Abraham, saying, Behold, behold Melchi, the she hath also borne children unto thy brother Nahor, Huz his firstborn, and Buzz his, his brother, and Camel Kam, the father of Aram, and Chiz, Chizad, and Hazo, and Hildash and Jidlap and Bethel. And Bethel begot Rebekah, and these eight Melchi did bear to Nahor and Abraham's brother. And his concubine, whose name was Rema, she bare also Teba, and Geham, and Tahash, and Machai. And that's the end of Genesis 22, reading from Genesis 20, 21, and 22. You have a good night, good day or night. God bless and take care.